Welcome everybody to the Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Cuddles, our scent specialist. We're on the Mountain Goat Soap Company site today, and we're going to be taking a look at some shampoo bars. They want you to know they are inspired by the outdoors. They hand make these for you. Life is short, live on the edge. This website's put together pretty well. You got the shop collections, you got shop all products, a little bit about them, why you want to choose their soap, and any other questions you may have on the site. We're going to select shop collections. You're met with best sellers, fruit and berries, of course, and some gift sets. Scrolling down, we do have some lotions and scrubs along with a manly soap collection. Let's take a look at this novelty section. We're going to click on that real quick. You'll see we have some clay target soaps and some hops nine. That's for any of you gun enthusiasts out there. Going back to the shop collections, we do have shave and beard care, and we also have the shower and bath stuff that we're gonna be checking out today. Got a bunch of different scents right here, which is really cool. We're gonna come down to the flora. We'll click on that real quick. When you come to this page, you do have a few options, whether you want single shampoo or conditioner bars, or if you wanna buy it in a bundle, maybe even with this cool bamboo soap holder. We're going to add a set of these bars to the cart and we're going to check out. Now I am not doing any affiliates on this channel because I want to keep these reviews pretty non-biased. But if you want to Google a promo code for these guys or even reach out to the owner and ask for one yourself. So now it's time to check out and wait for the mail. Hey Steve, get on up here. Yeah Bob, I'm right here. What's going on? Do you see Billy down there being all weird and stuff? What the heck is he doing down there? Man, he's always doing that. Let's go check him out. Sounds good. Let's see what this weirdo's up to. Hilltop Soap Shop. It's almost all put together. Yeah, throw the sign up and we're ready for sales. Billy, Billy, Billy. What have you gone and done this time? Yeah, Billy. What the heck is all this stuff? Well, for one, my name's not Billy. And two, I like soap, and I'm setting up this shop. You trying to tell me people are going to come up here and buy soap from you, Billy? Oh, yeah. It's a mountain goat. And it looks like he's selling soaps. Welcome to the hilltop. We're open for business. We've been hiking all day, goat. We would like some loaves of soap. Oh, of course. I've got some nice loaves freshly cured right here. Oh, wow. Thanks for the mountain goat soap, my friend. We got to go. Nice meeting you, Gold. Ciao. We'll all be damned there, Billy. I can't believe what I just saw what I seen. Yeah, Billy just blew my little goat mind. My name's not Billy. It's mail call, and we have, whoop, better cut that out of the video. All right, here is an up-close look at the shampoo bar. Each of these bars are a pink, the conditioner bar being a slightly lighter pink, and they are hand-pressed by Diane, the owner of Mountain Goat Soap. I also wanted to show off this beautiful signature holy fern. These are Sendent shampoo bars that will keep the pH balance low for the hair. They're packed with natural oils and butters along with a few other ingredients listed on the screen. The conditioner bars also have a few other ingredients, but I'm going to list the oils and butters that they've packed into these bars. They also have some silk protein and vitamin E antioxidants. The scent profile for this is slightly complex, starting off with the Damask Rose Fragrance, adding some bergamot, vetiver, amberette seed, and some tonka bean. They finish it out with the iris root, toasted coconut, and a little bit of vanilla. You might be hearing my birds screaming for attention in the background, but we are gonna move over to the lather station. I forgot to turn the ring light on, but that shouldn't matter. You can see we do get a nice lather here, and applying it to the hair, it does bubble up very nice. It feels a lot thicker than it looks, actually. Switching over to the conditioner bar, you can see we do get some slickness from the oil. This conditioner is very easy to work into the hair and washes out nice as well. Now, even though it may look like a cat just spit my hair up, it is nice, silky, soft to the touch. Welcome back from that up close look at the label product info. I'm of course joined with Cuddles, our scent specialist, and my wife Yup Ching. We're going to be taking a look at the Mountain Goat Soap Company today. We've got the shampoo bar and conditioner right here. And what do you think about this shampoo bar and conditioner? Not, not just the scent, but... Um, the actual oh, shampoo bar and conditioner. My, my favorite is the scent, but I've been using this a lot. You see, it's kind of smaller right now. It's washed really well. It's 
is make my hair clean. I like this shampoo bar actually. Um, we were into a few other brands that make shampoo bars. We won't, won't mention them right here, but this one really um, kind of came in and, and took first place amongst some of the other shampoo bars we have. I'd almost say this is one of the best shampoo bars and conditioners that um, with the very good right fragrance. Yeah. I think fragrance for me is number one beside the quality. I uh, love these smells. I wasn't gonna choose this. This was a choice that she made for this uh, rose and coconut scent. It's good. I actually really enjoy this one. I chose this. Um, what is this? Honeysuckle and hibiscus. That's my choice too. <laughs> And this one's definitely a lot more earthy, but floral? yeah, I mean, oh, you, get, very floral. Oh. you get a lot of that pollen scents coming through. Mm -hmm. Now we do have a few items from them. As you can see, we have a few soaps and a scrub. And I believe I called this Holy Fern and I, and I think it's actually Holly Fern. I just make stuff up on the fly. We're just going to do a quick tier list of all the scents we have right now. This is the flora. So we'll just consider this being you know, this is a really enjoyable scent. So um, let's keep everything on the board so people can see it out there. Let's say this is standard number one, right? What, where is this better or less than the flora? My side being best and your side being worst? It's hard to say I love both of them. It depends on how floral you want to have, you want to be today. This is super floral, very feminine. Hmm. All right, while she's deciding, let's take a look at this. We're not going to spend too much on each one of the scents. This is First Light. Now, this is really just a very beautiful looking bar. It's not super fragrant for me. It does smell like kind of fruity, um, a little floral. I, I don't know, maybe I'm getting some mixed scents here. It's not bad. It's very light, but the bar itself is beautiful. Where do you want to put this in your tier list here? I really like the shampoo, so shampoo is bars are number one. But this is a pretty good scent. It's not overpowering. It's a little bit of fruit. Like it's a natural kind of fruity scent with a little bit of floral, right? And it's kind of clean. Next up, Full Metal Jacket. You got the pour top right here. You got some vetiver and oh. some bergamot going on in there, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a little bit of musk. What are you thinking about that? Oh my god, I, I like this. Really? Is this like kind of... Um, would I I bet that it's been kind of make your uh, skin kind of uh, have like a little spice. This is very good, I believe. This is one of their manly uh, scents here. Yeah. Where do you want to put that in this tier list? I never try it, but I really okay. like the scent and I believe this is good. Okay, so this is falls right behind the, the shampoo here. Next up on the list, we have this Queen of the Prairie. Uh, Cuddles likes it too. Once again, a very beautiful bar. Oh, look at all that. The colors swirling, mixing, wow. uh, not swirling, but just like pulled up into the other colors. Very good separation of those uh, three layers of soap oh, look here. look at that. You think cuddles oh, are your favorite? Mm, it smells like my shampoo. Man. Tough one? I, I probably put it behind here because this one is very unique. Now we also have this facial bar that we got, and this is going to be like an elderflower and an apple. Elderflower and apple? This actually smells good. Ooh. What are you thinking about this guy right here? Oh. It's Smell good. Pretty. It's not strong. It's just right. Now we haven't actually tried any of the soaps yet. We've just been doing the shampoos. This video got kind of pushed off to the side, but if you guys would like to see an actual um, soap video review of this company, let me know in the comments down below and we could get working on that I as well. I put it behind a fall because I like the scent. Okay, and this last one here is this Holly Fern. And now this one looks cool. Oh man, I like this one. This one's a little bit sweeter and stuff. It almost reminds me of a cucumber oh, or something. What is this? It's a sweet cucumber and Oh melon. yeah, it's a cucumber, aloe, and melon. Melon, that's make it sweet. Mm. Where do you want to put this guy? I mean, I, I, oh. I'd rather put this one in third place, or second to be you honest, because to? yeah, I'm going to do it right here. This guy wow. not only looks really cool, and uh, I'm not sure if she makes it in a Pringle can or not, but... It's like those Japanese chewy candy scents. Yeah, it's cool, and I'm sure this uh, took a little bit of work to make. 
you see on this side these are green and then these side it's different so i mean i'm sure if you got there's so many different layers in here it's um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool a lot of hard work went into just making this soap look cool. We have one last little bonus one, and this is a mini trial, or mini trial. This is a mini travel sample. This one's kind of a, a tea tree or a mint. What do you think about this? Where do you want to put this guy in our little tier list of uh, soaps here? Ooh, very different. Oh, it's very like a medical earthly kind of scent. Ooh. Where do you want to put that guy? I know she likes these. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here to be yeah. honest because I think right. like these ones are a little bit better and I'm not a huge tea tree oil fan. I just think that's very amazing rose and coconut. That's like oh both of them are my favorite scents. It's just so good. That coconut definitely um, mellows out the rose if you're not a huge uh, rose fan. It's Cuddles nap time, so we're gonna wrap this up. If you guys have tried Mountain Goat Soap, let me know in the comments down below and share you guys' feedback for uh, other viewers. This is very beautiful, like the rainbows after the storm. I want to share my feeling. I haven't used these, I haven't tried these out yet, the uh, bath soap, but you can feel like the, the amount of oil here is not too oily, it's just perfect amount. You can feel the quality, but I, I enjoy the scent. They have a lot of different ingredients that they include in their soaps. I said if we were going to do a soap review, we'd kind of go over a lot of that. Each one of these are slightly different, I believe. Um, yeah, they're really cool. Uh, I like this company. This shampoo bar is definitely top notch for us right now. Let everyone know what you guys think about Mountain Goat Soap in the comments down below. That's going to wrap this video up. Like, share, subscribe. You already know how YouTube works. We'll all see you on the next soap review. Peace.